I'm Brian Watkins and this is my video tutorial for pivot tables, table A7. In this table we're going to learn one of the more powerful uh, means of expanding the information available in your pivot table. So we're going to start with the basic um, uh, category by quarter that we just left off with. So we go to product sales, we insert pivot table, OK, You'll recall that we're seeing the, the new modernized pivot table screen instead of the old one. And we're going to have the quarter, and then we're going to have the category, and we're going to have the sales. And for some reason it's again defaulting to that layout that I don't want to see. So we go to tabular layout. Now here is one of the more powerful aspects of pivot tables. Even though we have our table all set up and we have sum of sales in our values, we can go and let's look at our table again. We want to see the average sale and the lowest sale as well. In order to do that, we take our sales information, we click on it again, and we drag it over to the values. And there's another column, and it's called sum of sales. Well, we want three columns, so let's drag it again and we're going to right click on it. Number t On the second one, we're going to right click. Sorry, left click. And we go to the value field settings and it tells us our options. Now, this middle one is going to be our average sales. So let's give it a name, custom name instead of sum of sales 2. Let's give it the average sale and it's going to summarize the value field by using the average function. Um, it's trying to change average again. So we're going to say average sale and hit OK and it went average sale up there. Perfect. Um, while we're at it, let's change these numbers in the same fashion. Number OK so it changed them all. They're still linked. Now we need to change that last column from a sum function to the low function, which is the min function. So left click. And so you can see what I'm looking at. It's the same formatting as for the number. Value field settings. Let's move this back. And we're going to use the min function. And instead of calling it min of sales 3, that's kind of clunky. Let's call it the lowest sale. Okay, and while we're at it, let's take that sum of sales, which is the computer's default, and let's give it a better name. Let's call it total sales. Okay, and it looks like that one needs to be formatted. So we'll format the number. lowest sale needs to be formatted. So we format it as a number. Okay, now we have our our columns. Everything looks just right. Let's uh, if we click out, we click in. Okay, let's look at the table formats and find a good one. Uh, that's not a good one. Once you click on one, you can kind of just explore the table here. Uh, that dark one looks as good as any. So let's widen out our columns. And center them. And just to make it a little more clear, let's put the uh, lines back in just so that it makes it a little bit easier to read. Take the columns out, yeah. Col columns don't need lines. So that's another uh, style option that you can use. You can take out row headers. You can uh, take out column headings. Uh, it's all depending on what you think looks best.